Hello everyone, my name is Python GB. Oh my god, it's so good to say that again. Welcome to the first episode of Season 2 of my Terraria Let's Play. As you can see in the bottom left hand corner, we are using Terraria version 1.2.3. So, since the last episode, or the last series, it has been updated a little bit. 1.2.3 incorporates a bunch of new bug fixes and balance changes. And, just uh, just because, you know, the developers of Terraria are awesome, they even still managed to add a bunch of stuff in. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get ourselves a new character going. Let's go for a random character. Okay, who are we going to have this time? Who are we going to have this time? Uh, okay, that dude looks pretty cool. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my god. Python! Let's go, baby! We're going to create ourselves. We are going to go with... We are going to go with a... Medium world. Okay. Python LP world. There we go, like a boss. Now, a lot of you guys who watched the previous season may be wondering what the hell is going on, why have I started a new season, and to answer your question... I would advise either looking through my Twitter, which is twitter.com slash pythongb, or by looking at the previous video, because my channel was actually terminated by YouTube, which was kind of stupid, but on the 1st of March 2014, my channel was reinstated. Now, the bad thing is, because I lost hope a couple of weeks ago that I, I genuinely didn't think I'd get this channel back, everything related to Python GB, all of the series, all the game data related to Python GB, that's all gone. So unfortunately, I really can't just carry on the series because that just wouldn't make sense. So, that is why I am doing this. And of course, it is a new chance to start out in a new 1.2.3 world, which is pretty cool. Now, there's a couple of things I do know, and that is there is a 1.2.4 version in the works. And once that comes out, we shall basically just carry on the season on there. But there is also a 1.3 in the works for Terraria. And when that comes out, hopefully, we should have finished that season by then. But when 1.3 comes out, I would likely start a new season on there as well. So just a little FYI for you guys. There we go. But without further ado, it is indeed time to try out a new world in 1.2.3. And we're going to get some things done, people. We want to get as many things done as we possibly can. I just killed a bunny because I'm a very, very bad person indeed. There is a guide. Hey, Mr. Guide. What's your name this time? Cody. He's, he's named Cody. All right. That's pretty cool, I guess. Right. Are we going to get any rare mobs on our first episode? Because if you remember, on the very first episode of this entire series, we had Pinky come up as the first ever mob to be killed and that was rather insane let's be honest because you normally get a gold coin from pinky and you need at least 50 silver coins in order for the merchant to arrive and uh, as a result me getting pinky on the first episode was pretty damn awesome because it meant we could go ahead and get ourselves the merchant really quick right we have got ourselves a bunch of wood which is always a good thing right okay so we spent, uh, spent about three minutes getting wood. Holy moly. Actually, probably less than that, let's be honest, because we spent a lot of time talking and creating characters. Right, what are we going to find today? What is going to be in this world? Hopefully, there's some pretty cool things. Hello, Mr. Slime. Hi. Hi. How are you doing, buddy? I really hope you're doing well, because I sure am, because I've got my channel back, and I never thought I would actually get it back, and I have, and I'm really happy as a result of that. <laughs> oh, baby. It's so beautiful. Right, i got to kill you guys. I'm sorry, but it's got to happen. Ow. If you kill me, I'm not going to be a very happy chappy. Get out of here. You can't dampen my spirits today. Not today. Here we go. Right, is there anything down here? I would imagine... Yep, there's a chest down here. There we go. Well, what do we got? Spear! Fantastic. Okay, this is a good start. Spears are very, very good against zombies on your first night, because obviously, I'm pretty sure that spears pierce an infinite amount of enemies, which is a pretty damn cool thing. Uh, that appears to be tin, which is the equivalent of copper, so I'm not going to get that, because copper isn't too useful. I mean, straight away, for example, hold on, let me just go ahead and... Uh, make this a little easier for myself there we go if we go ahead and make ourselves a workbench and if we place it down real quick there we go what you can actually go ahead and do since the 1.2 update came out you can make yourself wooden armor now obviously it doesn't do a lot of defense but it does some defense a full set of wooden armor will give you three defense which is pretty okay by default the leggings don't actually give you any defense but when you put this on 
it, the set defense is one defense, so you actually have three in total. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It will at least absorb a tiny bit of damage, which is better than not absorbing any damage. Right, what kind of world have we even got today? Have we got a corruption world? Have we got a crimson world? I don't know, man. It's, I, I feel like it's been a while since I've played on a uh, on a corruption world. I've had crimson worlds quite a lot recently, actually. So, I don't know. I don't know. We're going we're gonna to see, eventually, hopefully. Right, what's that? That looks like... That is lead. Lead is the equivalent of iron, so we're going to grab that. That's always a good thing to have. Okay. Uh, vases. Oh, ropes. Okay, they're pretty useful for getting around. Oh, right. What is around here? I imagine there's chests in here. This kind of structure looks all too familiar. Come on, let there be a chest around here. There has to be a chest around here. There just has to be, let's be honest. There we go. Oh, hi. Hello, Mr. Rock Formation. How you doing, buddy? Okay, shurikens. Not too bad. There we go, we got ourselves a chest. Fantastic. Uh, anything else? Really quick. Let's just have a look. Quick see. Quick look. Are we going to get something really awesome on our first episode or not? I don't imagine we will. It would be nice if we did, but it's not really a necessity. Right, what's down here? Anything decent? There is a statue, which... That appears to be a hornet statue. Alright. So, I know that some statues can spawn mobs. Can you get the hornets to spawn from a hornet statue? I don't think I've ever seen that done on YouTube before, so... I'm gonna go with the answer of no. I know that you can have, like, slime statues and skeleton statues that spawn, but I'm not entirely sure about the rest of them, to be honest with you. Alright, okay. Ah, spiderweb. That is a good thing. Very, very useful indeed. Uh, anything down there? There was a mouse down there. <laughs> what? Okay. That's fantastic, I guess. Right, let's get back up here. Use your ropes. There we go. I do love me some ropes. Let's get back up top and let's create ourselves a base because it needs to be done. Right, what do we got? Oh, sweet! Climbing claws. All right, not bad. First accessory already. We're doing better than our other LP straight away. Right, okay. Right, I just want to get up here, so I'm just going to mine this out really quick. And likely... Can I jump up there? No, I can't. Okay, back to the ropes then. No problem. There we go. Six ropes left. That's not a lot, let's be honest. Right. Uh, okay. Navigation is so difficult when you start out if you don't have a lot of rope. Right, here we go. Up we get. Up we get. And we'll have some blocks. And up we get. There we go. We're out. So the one thing I really like about the 1.2.3 update is, as you can see, you can actually visibly see the accessories attached to your character. So, for example, I could take off the climbing claws and they're not visible there. Put them on and there they are. And what you can also do is you can make the accessory visible or invisible. So you can just click on this little button here and it will get rid of it. Or you can hide it or you can make it prevalent again. I don't know. It's pretty damn awesome. I do like that. Uh, I don't think I trust it down here. All right, anything? Hello? Hmm. That is a very deep lake. I don't think I want to go down there. It doesn't look very nice. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> okay. Right, what's going on over here? Let's have a quick look-see. Looksy doodles. Uh, what have we got? Vases. Many, many vases. Many, many, many vases. Okay. We didn't get any rope from that. Alright, okay. That's pretty suckish, actually. I wouldn't have minded having that. Right. Okay. Well, this looks like a, uh, a pretty nice place to set up your first base because it's rather flat, as you can see. Which I kind of like. So... We are going to do exactly that. We're going to set up a quick base. Uh, hopefully get ourselves the guide to move in. That'd be great. And then we can make some more NPC houses. Get the merchant to move in. Maybe the nurse if we get ourselves a heart. That'd be great. Right. Hi. I need to make one. Why didn't I make a sword while I was making the armor? Like, really? Am I really that dumb? Well, apparently I am. Okay. Uh, campfire. Let's go for it. Okay. Uh, two bits of stone. Okay. No furnace in the works today, unfortunately. Right. A chair. A table, uh, a door, okay, good stuff, good stuff, uh, let's have a sword, a regular wooden sword, that's not bad, a wooden hammer, that is also not too bad, ha ha, why, why do you do this, all I want to do is build a base, wow, I used to pull my wood already, holy crap, I didn't realise I used that much wood, <laughs> what, where did that all go man, god damn, okay, oh yeah, that's right, we just, 
made a bunch of stuff, didn't we? Okay, it uh, doesn't matter too much. Right. Just a fairly basic house for now. And then obviously, we'll expand a little bit later, get some more things in here. You know, make it a little bit more fancy, like you do. Okay, so that can go there, and the workbench can go right here. And then what we need to do is make some back walls. Background walls, whatever you want to call them. Fill it in, and then we can get the guy to move in here. And then he can tell me what I need to craft. Even though I kind of know what I need to craft, because I've been playing this game for, well, according to Steam, over 300 hours. So, <laughs> pretty damn cool, isn't it? Right, okay, so, let's go up here, and let's get the guy to move in here. There we go, fantastic. We got a guy to move in! So fantastic. It's only 10 minutes into the episode, and we've already done a pretty damn good amount, let's be honest right here. All right, let's go up here real quick, and we are going to get some lead. You want some lead with that? I would love some lead. And there we go. Unfortunately, we are completely out of wood for now. Uh, we do have some acorns, though. Hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, you can go and die, please. Thank go and die. There you go. You're welcome. Get you get killed. Right, he's done. He's not doing that to me again. You can't touch me. <laughs> MC Hammer. Yep. Yep. Those references, though. Okay. Right, let's flatten this out a little bit. A little bit of landscaping just while we're here to make it look good, I guess. Uh, get rid of these little grass block bits. There we go. I mean, obviously, the grass will spread along the tops. That's all right. Okay. So, probably by the next episode, what I'm going to do is landscape this entire place just a little bit. Make it a bit more flat. Make it a bit more, sort of, easy to navigate around. Because that's always a good thing to have, isn't it? Walking around real easily. All right. I don't trust these slimes. He almost got me. He almost got me. Yeah, get killed. All right, he's done. Okay. And let's chop this one down real quick. Really quick. Okay, we have not done too bad on our first episode. Nice on a pinky, unfortunately, but uh, you can't have everything in the world, can you? Right. Okay, that's a nice amount of torches. I'm just going to light this place up a little bit. What the hell? This is a very weird place. Hm. We've got a desert with a floating island. Is that floating sand? Is that actually what I'm seeing right now? Is that floating sand? No, it's not. Oh, God. Somehow it suffocated me in the air. That makes so much sense, let me tell you. Right, okay, uh, are we going to find a Z desert temple today? Sure would be cool, but it doesn't appear that we are going to find one. Hmm, I don't know, it looks like the uh, desert continues. Right, okay. I hold a little bit of hope in trying to find one of these desert temple things. They can hold some fairly good things, if you're lucky. For example, you can get a sandstorm in a bottle, like last time, in my previous Let's Play, I got uh, the Pharaoh's clothes, and they were very, very useless. They didn't do anything apart from make me look like a complete and utter dingleberry. So, yes, that was a thing. Right. What is going on here? Aha! Spiderwebs. Right. If we get at least 35 spiderwebs, we can make ourselves a bed, and then set a spawn point, and that'd be fantastic. Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything here. It looks like it goes down a little bit, though. So that's all good. Alright, we are not doing too bad at all. Okay, we're just gonna... I'm gonna explore the little bit below me. Oh, there's a little bit more lead down here. Now, once again, lead is the equivalent of iron, so it's fairly worthwhile getting it. We've got 41 bits, not too bad. Right, okay. Here is where the danger starts. Hmm. Well, at least it would be. Alright, maybe not, maybe not. Not too bad. I want to get this vase, though. Some coins, always useful. Hey, Mr. Zombie! Come down here, you bunch of pansies! Come on, then! Oh, I'm waiting for you, dude. Um, oh, here he comes. Here they all come. Yeah, get killed, get killed, get killed. See, look at this thing! It does enough knockback to keep them well back. There we go. Right, you gonna give me a shackle? No? I wouldn't mind a shackle. They give you a little bit of defense. And obviously, if you get a warding one... Then you will be a very happy person. Alright, anything down here? Oh, I'm gonna drown. Oh god! Oh god, get out, get out. Okay. Let's pay attention to our breath meter. That's probably a good idea, right? Uh, well, that can go there. Uh, is there anything down here? It just appears to... No, nah, not really. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. There we go, got out. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Let's explore over there really quick. Okay, up we get... Right, okay. There doesn't appear to... No, there's nothing here, basically. Right, and we're out of blocks. 
So I guess we're going to have to build our way up. Hmm. All right. No problem. No problem. We can do this. I'm not going to cry about it. We're just going to move on with life. There we go. Fantastic. All right. I guess that can pretty much do for the first episode though, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, and of course, if you want to see more, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. Oh my god, everything's jumping about. Hey, hi, hi. Yeah, get killed. All of you, there you go. Right, you're wrecked. Okay, you're dead. They can't get out of the endless pit of doom. Okay, that's fine. Hello. What's with these zombies, dude? There's so many of them. And none of them will give me a shackle. What is this? So mean. They're so mean to me. But whatever the case, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I shall see you next time.